Do 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 do. Oh, is that me? Am I? Yeah, no, no. Am I coming through? I see I have my face now. Hello. Greetings. Greetings, friends. I think you gotta set up the... Change the name on the thingy. Unless you're probably doing that right now, aren't you? So yeah, right now, uh, Jackson is but a square. He is just a single square in who's, the round. Who's a square? You're a square. Okay. You are a void. Um, hey, Steph, how you doing? There we go. You. Uh, I don't need to see this. I need to be free. Yeah, I'm able to see the screen okay right now. And I can hear the game okay right now. Still okay. trying to figure out your own camera right now. Alright. Uh, we are trying to get to go live then. I don't know. I still have another minute on the clock. Might as well just wait. We, we did begin streaming, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Actually, are you... Chad, are you able to hear either Jackson or myself right now? Here. Let me try that. I, I don't... It may not have gone... Yeah, right now I'm just trying to see. Yeah, I just can't see Jackson. Okay. I can hear Jackson. Is uh, that attached to the to the service you're using to show me right now, or is that just your own camera having issues? That, that's my own. Okay, there you are. Having issues. Uh, hey. There uh, he is. What's good, man? Excuse, excuse our mess. Uh, I. I had two instances of OBS open for some reason. Uh, oh. and one of them was fine. The other one was uh, the other one was uh, like that. That's rough. And, and I also just uh, left because I I left my station because I had time on the clock, according to me. Actually, I'm realizing we should probably change the settings to what game we are streaming now, but I'm not actually sure how to do that unless you know how to do that. I do know how to do that. We can do that from OBS. Because uh... we are currently not getting annihilated. We are getting railed. There is a difference. Such, such a difference. Uh... Andrew Jackson, Andrew Jackson. I think that's like a uh, shorthand for... Uh, memorizing Pi. Andrew Jackson. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty I sure that wasn't a popular U.S. president, so probably no. not great. Not a great shorthand, but uh, it works. Also, mm. Crimson's asking if you're excited about your girl dropping his drive this week. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, that's another uh, game that's got a uh, move, move up the queue. So, uh, Crimson, when you want to play again, we can do that on stream. I'm very curious to know who's playing her, because I actually watched the trailer. It, I, I, I think the best way I put it is that... It play, did... Playing her voice, right? Not not the people that yeah. will be bike and mains. Yes, I mean, the voice performer that will be playing the part of Biker. 
Um, she sounded pretty familiar. Like, I, I wouldn't say it was... I wouldn't say it sounded like Rachel Robinson, but it sounded like the type of vocal inflections and range I would associate with Rachel Robinson, if that makes sense. Yeah, she's definitely playing... Whoever the actress is, is definitely playing into that range. I think she's got a little more of, like, the... Like, she's got, she's got, she's got gruff, old, veteran samurai lady. I'd almost say she's got a bit more of a southern, like, a little southern inflection than I was expecting. But, like, it does work. I was going to compare it uh, favorably to Kira, Kira Buckland uh, doing JoJo voices, but that's not quite the right uh, not, not, voice I don't, range. Yeah, definitely sounded older than Kira Buckland. So, sounds like a Stone Ocean character. Not necessarily a Jolene. Okay, yeah, I, I guess. I, I've been very busy with stuff for this year's Dubby-related content that I literally just kind of factored out everything that doesn't count for this year, with a few exceptions. Like, I did, I, I did watch the first couple episodes of Stone Ocean, and I did watch the Nagatoro's dub's first episode because... I had to know... For the memes. You had to know. I had to know. And also... It's part of your meme really, education. There's also some really gross racists out there. So it's like, you know what? I am going to support this and get this views because those people are gross and should not be even humored. Like, my God. Where also, Kim, Kim, Kimberly is phenomenal as uh, Nagatora. She's she's doing a killer job. Okay, good to hear. Uh, I'm also happy to watch a show that uh, Melly Grant is writing. I've been very curious to see uh, her ad adaptive script writing, and it seems to be really fun and playful, which I really like. It works for a show like this. Yeah, I'm trying to think uh, what the last show I would have seen her uh, play was. Or be a part of, I should say. Uh, Melly. Um, I, I know she was she was like a one-off character in Kimono Jihen. That's what I remember last. But she's played a couple of characters. Um, I know she was one of the uh, one of the major troop ladies in. Oh yeah, the. We have this handy command now because you you had brought up the dubbies, so. <laughs> There you go. If you haven't voted already, go ahead and vote there. We've got an... It's finally slowing down a little bit, but we, we've we got a good good amount of votes already. Yeah. And it's going to be very exciting to see how this turns out once it's all wrapped up. Have, have we publicly said uh, voting numbers? Uh, uh, if I not this year, then previous years? Uh, previous years after the fact, but right now we're keeping that uh, secret to us. Okay. Uh, from we what, I, what I understand, we're trending pretty well from the last two of these I was a part of. For sure. We're also we also uh, changed it a little this year, where it's like in prior years, it was not a requirement to vote in every category, but in this year, it is. Yeah. Which which has been interesting to see how that's factored in the results and the amount. So it's like yeah. this year, it's not one category is overwhelmingly contains more votes than the other. Everybody yeah. has the same amount of votes in all six categories. I, I did uh, share that around with some friends, and they're like, "Okay, I'm voting for this category especially because this is the one that matters, and I will fill out the rest." I respect that. Yeah. I respect that. I just love seeing my friends and mutuals that are like, oh, you bastards, this is so hard to choose. It's like, yeah, it was hard to come up with with the 10 in each category we wound up yeah. with. There's a couple of ones I really wanted on there that yeah. got kicked out or had or didn't make the cut just enough. Yeah, no, I'm feeling that. But I'm also just thinking if I got what I wanted and had like my 10, the choices would be a lot easier for the audience. Yeah. Because th th there's that many fewer uh, 
common points, touch points. Yeah. So, as far as, so as that's far as, fine. Yeah. It, so long as it's causing other people physical pain, I'm happy. Attaboy. But yeah, oh, and my I, uh, my uh, blue stacks uh, Ark Knights dailies just finished up. I was watching that auto. Mm. I'm gonna nod and pretend I know what that means. Good for you. I good for you. I played Ark Knights on stream. I I can you can. It's basically an idle game after after idle as an A D L E. Oh, you, li you clear your map it, once. Uh, and then you have an autosave, and you can just run that slump and spend the stamina and walk away. So I, there are idle games, and there are idle games, <laughs> but there are also idle idle games. Am I understanding this correctly? Right. right. Idle games like uh, Cookie Clicker or that um, one about the paper clips, and then this. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Uh, did, did we mention Ark Knights is getting a uh, a dub? Like, wait, what? A, th so a there's an Ark Knights anime coming out later, I uh, some, heard about sometime that. this year. That's why I started playing uh, the game just to show off some of that. I'm excited about that. Those animated PVs are why I started playing that game. They're real good. Uh, so presumably when that comes out, it'll get dubs like yeah, Grand Blue and some other uh, Azura Lane. Yeah, no, I think that's got a good shot. Yeah, good shot of that. The, they're adding English voices to the game on mobile. Really? Yes. Okay, so, that's actually surprising. Yeah, I, I think they've also added uh, Chinese voices. Hmm. Okay, wait, wait. So, okay. so there's Japanese voices in it now. This is a Chinese company. I think they've ad added Chinese voice lines to the game now. And that was kind of an thing. Yeah, and now a... English voice track is forthcoming. So, just because you've mentioned it, does that actually lead to the possibility that we're going to hit a Danganronpa the animation scenario, where the game and the anime dub are created in isolation from each other with completely different voice casts? But there, there's good potential that uh, no, no parties are talking to each other. There's a very good possibility. I'm... I'm still in, I'm still kind of in awe that happened with the Vinland saga, which th this is not a really publicly mentioned thing, but I feel like it's worth repeating for those who don't know. Um, well, as far as W did, award, man. as far as W award qualifications, the Sentai Filmworks dub is the only one that counts because that was physically released in North America, legally and officially. Yeah. It, it's what's available to the audience, not necessarily what uh, they can access uh, or find on the internet. Pretty much. Like, as far uh, as we're concerned, the Netflix Vinland Saga does not officially exist. Mm -hmm. And that holds true even for the people we all know who work on it that are credited on voice actor databases already. Yeah, because and those still, are user user maintained so and they still cannot actually confirm their work on it you guys uh just did a vinland uh saga episode right yes we did a review and of the sentai the sentai dub yeah w was this topic covered then as well uh yes it was it was covered in that as well we're covering our bases but we're also i'm operating under the assumption a Somebody who has been in here does not know that for the first time, and B, I'm explaining this to people because I'm assuming people are like five-year-olds or have the memory retention of a goldfish. I appreciate you respecting my intelligence. Oh, no, no, no. I don't mean you. I mean everybody else. Goo goo gaga. All right. You, you chill it. Chill it out. Chill out with that shit. This ain't a Ooh. fucking this ain't a fucking yakuza level where Kiryu's beating up a bunch of men who are dressed in diapers. What, what was the quote from that? It's like, don't you get have any respect? This, let's crack this bitch. I think was the was the localization. Yeah. Or let's it's, pacify. It's just the overall. It might have been let's pacify this bitch. 
which those. God, what just the things? overall aura of the fuck you looking at? Pretty much. Can't, hey, can't a grown man wear a diaper and get bottle fed by a pretty lady? <laughs> Steph, before you before you come in here and judge me, I'm literally describing an actual level from a game in the Yakuza franchise where Kazuma Kiryu, the main character of those games, literally, like, walks into, like, a playpen of a bunch of, like, adult, gruff, Yakuza, burly, kick, kick you or face men who are all, like, partaking in, like, the fetish of, like, wearing a diaper and, like, being infantile, infant, babied. I was trying to say infantile type. Yeah, I was Baby. just gonna let you keep digging. Ugh, yeah. Anyways. Lilac's not even paying attention. Okay, there, good, good. There's no Love hot you. MILFs on, on screen, so she's not paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's a segue. I think that's a segue. I, th we I would agree that is a segue. Right. I'd say now is as good a time as any. So... I would agree that I would, that I would like, like to continue, continue the adventures, adventures of our disaster, disaster lesbian, lesbian Amelia, Amelia, the detective. Let me just add this uh, man back there. Oh yeah, perfect. Ah, uh, great back there. So we we will just have this uh, W's uh, command front and center. Excellent. Okay, so you're going to have to explain to Lilac later why you're sleeping on the couch tonight. <sighs> of course I am. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll do, do just that, that sweetie. Right. So, as a quick uh, review, I keep trying to click on the OBS preview, but that's not how I control the game. Hmm. Let's uh, move on. So, love on the Peacock Express. We went through two of the roads last time. Two oh, I have an echo, apparently. Do you? I you have an do... echo now. Okay. Uh, please continue to t talk a bit now. Okay, sure. We're going to be talking about the time. Last time on Love on the Peacock Express, we were a young disaster detective that was basically grouped in on a very... Uh, basically, they had no space on the thing, so they just kind of grouped her in with one of the attractive... 50, 60 something year old uh, silver fox lesbian ladies in the car with us. So we kind of had to talk about their lives, solve their problems, maybe use a little of our own cute brain detective works, and try to win over their hearts with charm, yeah. wit, and girl power. Yeah. Rich people have problems too, don't you know? Yeah. Anyways. Oh. Oh. Yeah, uh, on Peacock Express, it's a game uh, that came so, out of uh, anyway, the Yuri Gay so Jam. Yeah. Uh, 2017, which was like a two-month thing of just like, everybody make some games, have have fun. The, the accounts associated with this have the best username uh, usernames on Twitter. Train Milf Game. Tra train Milf Game. That's, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. And yeah, here here are the people that worked on this. Yo, shout out to Yuri Gods, Double N John, Six Feet Zen, Haha ha Powder, Duper Lane, Prince on Itchio, Rosovia, Nisin, Beverly Love, yeah. Elliot Small, Man Gotcha, Ghoul Girl, Mith Mithridate on Itchio, Player Prophet, Wiggle Worms. Yek Strin Timbler Mix Fuck off Zed Jay and Queenie Jay and Queenie yeah. Dude Stod Lysander and Arden <laughs> right. I, I made it work mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll see. Yeah and just to review Hey look, look at Look at all the things we did. Look at all the no, not look at all the things we did. Look at all the people we did, or did us. Anyways, We're so proud of ourselves. Yeah, 
And they're cute little sketches. I like how she's got a little like pineapple and uh, Cassandra is a little huffy like, huh, it's, it, it's, it's nothing. And she draws herself like she. Oh, oh uh, God, I don't know where to go. I was going to say, she kind of draws her. She's got very uh, tracer energy, but she's gay because they want her to be gay and not because they're trying to distract you from workplace malpractice. Now, are you going to start doing uh, a British accent if she's uh, the cavalry's here? Oh, God, no. I'm going to keep to what we were doing last time. Just kind of bubbly and fun and gay. Yeah. So I think I think we whoops into you did both of the uh, romance options last time and I did all the meal lines and this time it's going to be flipped. So. Yeah, I, I think that's a fair way to approach this. <clears throat> a light breeze slips through Kite Station as the Peacock Express pulls up on the tracks. This late in the summer, it's starting to cool down, and I'm grateful for my jacket. <laughs> That's not going to stop me from going on vacation. I've been waiting for months. The conductor will take your passes one at a time. Despite her request, the crowd surges forward, jostling me into the very center. Dodging bags and wayward elbows, I squeeze my way into the actual line as the door to the train slides open. We kind of did this part last time, but since it's the start of the new, new stream, we'll at least do yeah, fair enough. proper. It's a full week trip from start to finish, weaving around the country with stops in half a dozen major cities. For once, I can kick back and take the ultimate scenic route. Hello again. Take us out, darlings. We, ha we have a lot of you to get through. I, I, I still think she's got, like, the best design out of all of them, so I'm excited to do her today. No, Phrasing. Yeah. yeah. Carry on. No, better, yeah. Yeah. The conductor fills the doorway with a burst of flare and color, her rich, rich red uniform lined with gold. She winks when I catch her eye, and heat rushes up my face. Oh my god. Damn, am I gonna have to get the hammer myself? Son of a Yeah, you're just gonna have to hold on to it. All right. I mean, I am on camera to also be bonked, but I only have actual wood hammers. And I'm not inclined to... I realize the camera moved too. Can you do that? Hey, well, you got this. I believe in you. Hey, hey, I did it. Okay, just... No, yeah. right on the nose. Perfect. Okay, we're good. It'll be a while before she gets to me, though. You're first in line, miss. She's cut off by a ticket being shoved underneath her chin. The woman in front is tall, silver, and sharp as a polished blade. Ah, Cassandra, I'm take it. Yeah. If you would, the silver fox. Of course, ma'am. Wouldn't want to hold up a VIP. A bright smile from the conductor goes unanswered, and once she's ripped off the tab of the ticket, the other woman vanishes inside the main car. Next! I scoot a couple steps forward when there's a gap in the line, only to hear the conductor grunt with effort as two large, canary yellow suitcases are urged right into her hands. Sorry, if you can help me with these real quick, I'll get out of here, Jiff. Uh, How you doing, Iris? Uh, no problem, ma'am. How many of these do you have? Five? No, six. Excellent. It's hard not to laugh as the conductor tries to juggle the suitcases, ticket, and gracefully accept the woman's apologies all at once. The passenger does her best to help, but there are just so many bags. It's a lot of baggage. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, everyone. She returns a moment later, smoothing out the wrinkles in her vest, and calls up the next person in line. It's an older woman with her hair cut short and clean, reaching into the pockets of her jeans and taking out a brown wallet. Then she hesitates, letting that one drop before pulling a black wallet from her jacket instead. Uh, what was I doing with this? Kind of rougher than it was. And here you go, miss. 
Head on back, but try not to be a stranger to everyone, okay? This is a pleasure trip. She's I'll called keep... Salt and Pepper Butch because we're gonna eat out with her. I'm just gonna do this preemptively. Yeah. I'll keep the, I'll keep that in mind when I disappoint a lady. Scar across her mouth tugs tight when she smiles. A little flustered, the conductor waves her inside the train. And next? Oh, that's me! At least I don't have a lot of baggage to carry aboard. Sure you do, sweetie. Sure you do. Hello, sweetheart. Ticket, please. There you go. Ah, look, look at our Amelia. She holds it up to the light for a moment before tearing off the shorter end and handing the rest of the ticket back. I wonder if the conductor likes her job. I guess I could always ask. Do we want to redo this bit or uh, skip ahead a bit? I, I'd say we could keep keep with it for a little bit. There's huh. only like two routes to do, I think. Is this work as exciting as it looks? Her laughter is light, almost playful. I catch a twinkle in the conductor's eye as she looks me over from head to toe. Eh. What do you think? Exciting depends on your definition. It might be, depending on what you do for a living. I'm a private investigator. Like the classic type, sniffing out clues, poring over files in my tiny office at home. I never clean, there's Chinese food containers everywhere. Uh, you know, the works. I don't need to tell her that part. I don't have enough cases to hire a secretary, though. Hopefully I will soon. Please don't tell anyone how I live. Yeah. Yeah. Are you I, now? I, Interesting. I imagine, I imagine her office is very Jessica Jones-esque. Very, very rundown. Very crappy. But she, she makes it work. Hmm. Cleans up well enough, at least for a trip. She's yeah, traveling yeah. like... Then you shouldn't you know whether or not I like my job? Sharpen your eye, Gumshoe. Hoo hoo hoo. So start from the top. That's funny. The symbol on her hat doesn't match that one on the outside of the train. Nice uh, hat. Nice hat, yeah. Nice hat. Now she looks even more abused. Maybe that's a good thing? Why, thank you. I had to modify it a touch myself. And... She, her, the genders. She, her, they, them. Cool. <laughs> she's definitely teasing me. That could mean the conductor really does like her job, or she's being snarky to call attention to the obvious. Either way, she's pretty and a little older than I expected at first glance. I, I can work with that, she says. I think you like pulling my leg. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think that worked think out last time. My leg. I think that worked out last time. Feigning offense with a sigh, the conductor pulls a hand over her heart. Why, I never. You wound me, young lady. Oh. And lastly, the uniform. Her clothes look brand new, like they've just come off the rack. Either the train company charges them with every season, or she hasn't been doing her job very long. Fall like, colors. Fall colors look good. Yeah, I think it was fall colors. Just like, ooh. We're using oh, future knowledge. Good. Well, you make the fall colors look really good. The light brightens the conductor's eyes. Not sure how much that will show on my annual review, but I appreciate it. Before I can open my mouth again, the conductor hushes me with a light squeeze on one shoulder. Hey. D just do the Miles Morales. Hey. 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 Fun as it is to chat, there are plenty of people in line behind you. And I'm afraid your ticket wasn't an early bird reservation. No assigned seat. What does that mean? It means you have to choose who to share a car with. The whole passenger manifest is a mile long, so how about you make my life a little easier and choose from the three ladies that already came on board? 
I, I like to imagine that there's just like a whole line of people right now and everybody's like literally like chewing your head off like stop fucking flirting i want to get on this fucking train shit stop hitting on the management i'm sure they're all oh, i'm sure they'll all make for charming company he holds out a trio of tickets for me and i take a closer look no uh, nope. i get uh trigger yeah, happy we, with we the right click Iris and Cassandra already so might as well uh go center lane Salt and Pepper Butch. Salt and Pepper Butch. I don't know what drew me to this woman. Maybe it was the Salt and Pepper hair or the Han Solo vibe. Ah, uh, you like a lady who shoots first. Got it. I like how, how do I do a Han Solo impersonation or a, uh, a Harrison what, Ford impersonation? What do you know? Let's. What do you know about Harrison Ford? Uh, he hates Star Wars. I don't know if that's actually true, but I'm... <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. You got you gotta do a little little gruff be like Joey. We gotta make this trip, okay? We might not walk out of it alive, but we gotta do the job, we gotta do the thing. Mm hmm Gotta talk right. kinda like a little yeah. talk you can try a little fast talk, but well, not like cartoonishly fast talk. Punch it, Chewy. Punch, Punch it, Chewy. Yeah. yeah. Like Punch it, Chewy. Or the scar on her lip. Or the leather jacket. Amelia, sweetie, you're fucking drooling right now. Yeah, you, use that uh, scarf or something there. Excuse me while I sneeze, actually. I point to the ticket. Uh, this one? The conductor smiles at me. I wonder if she finds something funny. I see. Very well, thank you for your patience as we get everyone on board. I hope you enjoy your trip. She offers me along with the cold courtesy of a real professional, and I find myself inside. Just the okay. straight customer service voice? The sneeze yeah, did gonna, not come. I'm gonna have you tag out for some of the next narration stuff. Oh boy. I didn't realize a chill was selling in, into me until I got further into the train, and I relax in the warmth. As I walk into the train car, I take a deep breath in the smells of dust and clean, uh, and clean upholstery. On the far side of the cabin is the woman from the line with the clean cropped hair and jeans. She's looking through the window, but it turns from it to look at me as I enter. The way she smiles at me seems like it's out of a movie. Then there's a pause, and it grows across her face like a realization. She hasn't said anything, and I know I'm blushing already. She's so powerful. Oh my god. Hey there. Okay, so... Let's... Let's, let's be honest, like... Um, um, hey, hey. Yeah. Hi. Glad we're on the same page. I wasn't waiting for input. <laughs> She's, She's still smiling, st but something about my reaction surprises her. Looks like we've been locked into this little room together for a while. Why don't you come in and take a load off? I won't oh bite. Oh my god. Without consent. It's very important to establish consent. Mm. Unless you want me to. See? <laughs> there it is. Right. I, I, God, I think I'm... This is going to be quite the journey. Oh, boy, I got me a case of the vapors. Oh, honey, jeebus. She moves it's... past me to the entryway to give me space, and I drop my luggage onto my bed. When I sit down in it, I see that she hasn't stopped looking at me. I'm Victoria Rook, but please just call me Vic. No. Yeah, can can we not? Can, can we go with? Vic. Can we go with Vicky? Let's let's go with Vicky. Let's go with Vicky. It's a little less butch, but a little less uh the more mortifying. A little less awkward, all things considered. So we're gonna go. Let's say Vicky. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Let's let's whirl with it, Vicky. 
Victoria Rook just doesn't sound as good. Agreed. We're gonna work with it. We'll, we'll make this work, don't worry. I'm Amelia. I hold out my hand to shake hers, and instead she bends over to kiss my fingers. Oh, wow. Oh, ooh. The pleasure's all mine. Okay, so, like, the other one, you had to maybe figure out if they were gay or not. No. Vicky is... Vicky is making it very, very clear. And, and there's not even a game of is she into you specifically? I'm glad you... I'm glad you showed up. I was afraid I'd have to go this whole journey alone. Some company can make all the difference. Let's get to know each other better. What do you do? It's gonna turn out her old arc is like, everybody thinks I'm flirting with them. This is just how I talk. And then Amelia's gonna be like, I want you to flirt with me like that. I want you to destroy me. And Vicky's just like, I. Right. So we are at the bottom here, clearly. Oh, unbelievably. While Vicky looks cool and rugged, she's very friendly. It's difficult to keep from smiling back at her. Almost as difficult as it is to keep myself from blushing. I'm a private investigator. For a moment, Vic's demeanor shifts. I'm surprised. I'm. I surprised her with that so much that it takes her a moment to wipe the expression off her face. Amelia really wants her to be the Miles Edgeworth to her Phoenix Wright. Hmm. If I hadn't been trained for this sort of thing, I might have missed the suspicion that passes over her before she relaxes into a smile. Oh, she thinks we're a cop. Oh, God. Like in the movies. She keeps talking like I didn't catch her off guard for a few seconds of awkward silence. Ooh. Should I bring it up? Um, I'm not a cop. I figure just ask about it, yeah. Because it's going to make this less awkward either way. You look surprised for a moment there. Um, are you alright? Oh yeah, sorry, just gas. Vic's smile is back in place now. Whatever she wants hidden remains that way. So where are you headed, Miss Detective? Nowhere in particular. I'm on vacation, so I thought I'd travel around. Take a train for the scenic route, you know? No goal in mind. No bed to sleep in when I get there. No thoughts. Head empty. Only gay. Girls, 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 girls. That's a good idea. Take advantage of your youth while you can. I guess that means you have no commitments tying you down. She winks at me for that one. Maybe she's just doing it to make me blush, but I'm going to pretend it, it isn't happening. It's totally happening, though. Well, not, not really. I travel around a lot for jobs, so other than that and my sister, I don't have any commitments. No significant other, if that's what, that's what you're asking. There's, there's, there's not a single piece of bling on this finger. <laughs> don't. Also, we actually learned. About... Sorry. We actually learned a bit that she's got family. That's new. No boyfriends? No, 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 no. <laughs> Could never. Girlfriend? <laughs> Not yet. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, that Vicky smiles. Why is it all knowing about the meaning in my tone? She's been reading me like a book this whole time and telling me nothing about herself. What about you? What about me? This is your job, guys. You're the PI. Where are you going? What do you do? And do you... Are you, are you taken? I'll tell you what I have. I have a ticket with my name on it for all... need for speed. Oh, a ticket. Oh, she's hurting to got you really hard. I have a ticket with my name on it for a train for a long train ride with a beautiful woman. <laughs> I can't I can't let her get out of this. This, this is ridiculous. Ah. Yeah. I mean, you can try, but yeah. Is it hot in here? So 
So do I. Yeah. Oh, it's cute when they try to be assertive. <laughs> Vicky's eyes light up like I just picked up a racket to her favorite sport. She's going to sh show us how to uh, shoot pool. She's, she's going to bend you over that pool table for sure. You, you're not going to bore me by letting me just talk about myself the whole time, will you? I know. <laughs> we know ourselves very well. Thank you. I know all about me already. I know what I'm about. The glass. Fair enough. I'm heading home for a trade show. I run a motorcycle repair shop there, so I gotta uh, get out and schmooze with the corporates here and there. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. That that is a biker gang vibe. I prefer classic bikes, but sometimes you can get to know people. Uh, sometimes you can get to know people who know where to find older parts that haven't been in production in a while. She does seem like the type of woman who would ride a motorcycle. I'm not s sure she could be much cooler if she tried, but she keeps raising the bar. Do you ride? Uh, no, but I always wanted to try it. It's the best. You should get someone to teach you. Anyway, someone that's not me. This is over. You... Vic leans against the window and fidgets with her fingers. I wonder if she's a smoker? I've got a daughter back home. Maggie. She's turning 18 this year. This comes as a surprise to me. She seems like such a rugged, independent woman. Uh, according to Vic's expression, my reaction is obvious on my face. I know what you're thinking. That Vic sure seems like a, seems more like a drifter. The love them and leave them type, right? Um, you I, said it, I, not me. You I said wasn't... it, not me. Yeah. There wasn't any marriage, no romance to it. One day it was just me, and that was me and her. Sometimes in life, things just happen. I wouldn't judge anyone for doing it different, but slowing down with her was the best decision I ever made. It's a sentimental distance in her gaze and the warm and a warmth in her tone. I'm almost wonder. I'm. Hmm. Well, saying nothing is an option in Disco Elysium. Saying nothing is an option. I'm trying to figure out. I because like, you're gonna I, put your foot in your mouth by saying something. Yeah, I get the impression that right now, Vicky or Vic really does not want you really interfering in her business right now. Alright, we can say nothing for now. Let's try it out, because we haven't gotten flowers yet. Let me give it a shot. Sorry, once I get talking, I can talk a lot about her. It's a mom thing. You mentioned you had a sister? Are you close? I think so, although our relationship's a little unusual. Our folks weren't around, so I did my best to take care of her on my own. Ooh. This is a story. We're not a blank slate. We're not. I'm surprised. So you got to, you got to be her honorary mom. We were the mill all along. We're like Wait a pseudo mill. Wait a minute. Well, I, I tried my best. I'm not sure how much responsibility I can take for her growing up, but she's great. Aw, uh, he's smile. I bet she is. Raising someone is a learning experience for you as much as, as it is for them. Eventually, you have to let go and just hope you made the right decisions and believe in them to be their own person. Maggie's off to college soon, so I have to keep telling myself that. Big laughs, but I understand her uncertainty. <sighs> What's she going to study? She hasn't decided yet, but I've been trying to suggest she get into engineering. Ah, STEM fields. Maggie's learned a lot from me about bikes and engines, but she's a smart cookie. I'm sure she'll do whatever well wherever she wants to go. 
The warmth in her voice when talking about her daughter is contagious. She smiles at me. That's very cute. Sorry for getting all sentimental on you just after we met. I don't mind. I'm just happy you opened up to me. You're a real gumshoe. You just you know just how to get what you want. Consider me charmed. But now that you've solved the case, can you get the dame? Oh! oh, oh. Uh, well, I, <laughs> while I'm busy being flustered, Vic gets up and opens the door to the train car to go. Need, need to let the cool air in. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm, I'm just going out for cigarettes. With that, she's gone, leaving me alone in the train car. I stare out the windows and watch as the countryside rolls past. I can't remember if I saw grease on Vic's fingers or under her nails. While she passed me earlier, she smelled lightly of tobacco in the countryside, while with none of the tang of metal. Is she telling me the truth? Oh. Yeah. No. Are we going to accuse her of being a liar, or are we uh, going to ignore our job? I don't... God, if it turns out this is... I, I feel like we're, we're going to be more inquisitive, because she we opened up to her a little, but she's not being entirely honest to us either. I'd say let's at least, let's at least push it a little. Yeah. Let's humor the game. I have a complete stranger on a train that she may never see again. Vic doesn't owe me the truth. Oh, you ever do that where you just uh, talk to a stranger that you know you're never going to see again and just lie through your teeth? It's like, what What do you have to gain? But I'm uh, an investigator. And it's a Seinfeld plot. Uh, I guess you would get a fucking sitcom scenario. But I'm an investigator. It's hard to shake when I know things are being kept from me. I'm an importer-exporter. I'll be more careful around her. I lay back in bed and watch the clouds go through the window. Now and then a power line where a tree cuts across the panorama. And game over. Game over, yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck? Just as I start to wonder after Vic, she returns. This is my normal face. I see her expression shift into an easygoing smile when she catches my eye. Hey there, did you miss me? I was starting to wonder if you got lost. Only in your <laughs> eyes. Oh god. <laughs> like, that, that is like a, oh, mm. I'm going to lose my fucking mind grin. Like, <laughs> you fucking kill mm. something right now. Right. Vic laughs once and nearly loses her smile into a gr grimace. I nearly did. You went... Ah, uh, think it easy to get lost on a vehicle that's a straight line. Anyway, where were we? I think you were about to tell me more about your sister. Sure. She just graduated from high school, so she's around the same age as your daughter. I talk about my sister a bit, sharing a little information of value while I watch Vic. She looks at the bed as if she considers sitting, but she doesn't. Instead, she leans against the wall of the cabin. She's really into programming computers. I don't understand it, but I'm, I'm glad she found something that makes her happy. Uh, can you tell this was written by uh, computer programmers? You can. Game makers. Can. I had to get her to make me an email account. Oh, Amelia's. Oh, she's that much of a basic. When I stop talking, uh, Vicky doesn't notice right away. She simply rests there, her eyes closed in a telltale pinch between her eyebrows. I count the seconds off on my, on my fingers to see how long it takes her until I run out of hands and feet. Vicky? Yes? She says it so sweetly, as if there's nothing that I caught her doing. You alright? You, you look like you're in pain. Not at all. Just tired. I stare at her, and she smiles back at me. She's sticking to her guns, so I let the quiet sit for a while. Until she looks away with a laugh. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna laugh it all 
I'll laugh at it. So, Miss Gumshoe, tell me the truth. Are you working on assignment on this train? We're not a cop. We are not a cop, so no. We're not a cop. No. Like... Yeah, okay, there we go. Like nuts. Alright, we, we found the shoujo flowers. We found the flowers. Question number two. If you discovered evidence of a crime, would you feel obligated to report it to the authorities? Oh, Jesus. What Hypothetically you... speaking. Hypothetically, if there was indeed a dead body under that couch over there. I came by this starship legitimately. It's so a hunk I... of junk that I own now. If... If I just ate you out, would you look the other way? Just, just hy hypothetically speaking. Just hypothetically. No, that doesn't work because uh, one of them's down there and can't see anything, and the other one has all the uh, view. Fair. Okay, you're right. Roll. Re you got a reversal. Um... A little bit. We, we kind of... We kind of need to keep our job. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll stick with it for now, because I'm not sure which is right. Let's say yes. Yes. It gives, me, gives cold. me a cold stare. Yeah, well... Oh. oh. So you're the lawful type, huh? In normal circumstances, our working relationship would end here, but I need your help. Can I hire you? Will you keep the job a job between the two of us? We have uh, goaded her into the uh, client clientele confidentiality. Steady myself against her cold words. Of course. What do you need me to do? I'm trusting with you, you with this. Understand? I'm taking a gamble here, so don't blow it. With a hiss and a wince. Vic lifts the hem of her shirt. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? So you're Spot saying a crime occurred? Yeah. The spotting that has leaked into the bandages around her torso tells me all I need to know. She got fucking stabbed. She cleaned it like a professional, but the blood still looks fresh. That's why she's sweating. Jesus. Vic, how are you still standing? You must be in so much pain! Are you worried about me? That's so sweet. <laughs> uh, oh, it hurts to laugh. Mm. These things happen sometimes when you go to automobile conferences. What? It lets out a strained laugh. my ribs. Ah. Mm. As long as you're helping me out, I owe you. As long as, you... as long as you're helping me out, I owe you the truth. I wasn't lying to you when I said I run a motorcycle shop. There's just more to it than that. The real money comes from my other job. My real job. I'm a professional thief. Oh my god. Oh. So we didn't find our Miles Edgeworth. We found our Lupin. Vic chuckles, quiet and grim. Yeah, that's the reaction I usually get. So what now? Do you regret, regret, regret getting wrapped up with me? Nah. Yeah, I think we're fine. My job is to find information, not to pass judgment. I have lines that I might draw, but this isn't one of them. Vic smiles at me. Thanks. Anyway, I'm not coming back from a conference. I'm on this train to do a job, as you might have guessed. I was hired to fetch a certain item for a client. A certain item? I, I suppose you can't tell me what it is? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. We stare at each other. Well, and... she bites her bottom lip. Yep. Oh god, she does. Jesus. It's hard to take her seriously when she says stuff like that. Am I joking, though? Sorry. I know it was low-hanging fruit, but I just had to make that joke. <laughs> I sigh at her and she gives me a sheepish smile before continuing. When I left the car a little while ago, I went to do the handoff. 
Usually these things are casual, so you don't raise suspicion. Just a couple of random folks in, in their civvies shaking hands and, and making a trade. This time I got there, and, and it was a little girl wearing a mask. Before I had the chance to ask questions, she fucking stabs me and takes off with the goods. Ooh. So your job is going to be to find find that girl in a mask. We we have to get her before the train stops, and she and my job are well done and good, well done and gone for good. She's probably just a kid in over her head, spooks because she doesn't know what she's doing. I used to be that girl too. Vic but, sighs and touches her stomach with uh, her wids. I feel like I can almost see her for who she really is. Someone scrappy, desperate, and tired. Alright. Before I get started, I have a few questions. Yeah, I bet you do. Oh, Jesus. Uh, tell, tell me about the item. Vic shakes her head. Sorry, Gumshoe, no can do. I have a reputation to keep and a paycheck to earn. Maybe later I'll tell you, but the drop-off has has been compromised, so I'll I'm still on the clock. A lady has to keep yep. has to keep a few secrets. Oh. Savior. Yeah. Um Where did this happen? Where exactly did this account happen? Yeah. I was supposed to meet with the, uh, the contact in a cabin at the end of the, this car. The girl in the mask was there instead, and that's when she stabbed me and took the stuff. I wonder if my contact jumped was jumped somewhere, too. It seems fishy. Do you know anything about your contact? Of course not. That isn't how this works. How this works. But like I said, it's usually some dude in jeans and a t-shirt. Not a tiny, tiny girl in a creepy mask like one of my Japanese animes. So let's ask about the girl in the mask. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about the girl who attacked you? Not really. There wasn't a lot of time to, to take in uh, what was happening. She was short, petite, wearing a hoodie and a creepy bird mask. Did she say anything? Not at all. Not a sound. She just knifed me, checked my pockets, and made a run for it. Tell me about your employer. You tell me about your employer. Not a lot. I operate. I often operate without much information about a person or their situation. They usually tell me just enough to get the job done. But I do have this. Oh, hey, assets. Vic hands me a business card. I look it over. He's a stockbroker? Hmm. Mm. Maybe. I didn't get paid to, to know why people uh, want something or what it's for. I can't say it, say I don't get curious, though. You've never met the guy? Nope, but that's normal. We just talked on the phone. After the exchange, I, I was going to burn the card and forget this ever happened. We never intended to speak again. Do these complications usually happen in this line of work? Well, yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be fun if there wasn't a little danger. But your job gets sketchy sometimes, too. Doesn't it make things more exciting? I have to think about it. I guess, I guess you're right. Uh, d depending on what kind of danger there is. As long as no one's getting hurt, it can be pretty fun. I knew you were the type. I think that's all. Off you go then. Earn that shoe, gumshoe. Earn that Earn shoe that gum. Shoe gum, gum shoe. Earn that shoe gum. Dig okay. the hole, hole digger. I wish I could come with you, but I think I need to lay down. Yeah, I think you should lie down for a bit. I'll be back soon. Hey. Vic lowers herself onto the bed and smiles up at me. Thanks. I smile back at her. Take it easy and leave it to me. Gumshoe Amelia is on the case. 
I use my most confident walk to stride out the train car and continue the investigation while immediately knocking into the door, pretending that that didn't happen and she totally didn't see me. I'm cool. I'm so fucking cool right now, you guys. Not very often a case puts my life in potential danger. I'll have to be careful so I don't end up like Vicky or worse. Mm hmm. Ellipsis. Maybe she's right, though. The danger does make it exciting. Oh boy. No, oh, no. Is she getting it? Are we getting a new asset? We're getting new art assets! Hey! I got a lot of ground to cover here. Let's check the hallway first. The conductors keep this place so tidy, it should make my job easier. Let's see what uh, comes up on the highlight. Oh, we got it, two it things. Could, it could just be this, those two things on the ground. I think it's just those two things. I think go for the smaller one first. Hmm? Huh? I pick up the business card, and it's so familiar that I can reach for the one in my pocket to make sure I didn't drop it. Same business card. Sure enough, the card is identical to the one that Vicky gave me. The name and the phone number are the same for the same stock broker. The broke, the stock, the stock, stoke broker. It raises more questions to me than it gives answers. I better not jump to unfound conclusions. And knife. Uh, is that the fucking murder weapon? That was easy. That was easy. The knife is still open, so I picked it up carefully by the handle. A red sheen lingers on the blade, turning a rusty color by the time it reaches the hilt. Must have been wiped clean quickly, but the presence of blood is unmistakable. Good thing the blade is short. Vic could have been really hurt. I think she was really hurt. But, uh... She was really hurt, you dingus. She left incriminating evidence, but I still don't know who the masked girl is or the direction she went. I was going to say, that's kind of amateur. I guess my only option is to hit the dirt and check the other cars until I find another clue. She could have gone far. Yeah, she could have. It's a fucking train. She could have bailed. We are on, uh... Oh! Hey! We're hanging out with the other people on this route, too. The handsome gray fox from the line earlier isn't happy about me intruding on her space. She lets me snoop around with a clear impatience. There's no sign of the masked girl in the small car. The lady hasn't heard anything either, so I move on. Mm -hmm. The next car has a beautiful, glamorous woman that I think I also saw in mine. Her room is cluttered with personal stuff. She's kind about my intrusion, but she asks a lot of questions about what I'm up to. As soon as I'm sure she's not hiding the mask girl, I slip out. I don't want to be rude, but I can't tell a client her a client's personal business. Kind of fitting we did this one so, so we did this other two already. Yeah. I knock on the door to the next car, but no one answers. And well, I didn't get to be good at my job by minding my own business now, did I? Yeah, I guess so. I try the door. It's open, so I let myself in. We get more assets. Show me a third oh. show me a fourth character. Oh, I guess God. it won't empty after all. Oh god, we do have a new asset. Holy shit. What about is... you? You're that fake hedgehog. You're the fake faker. Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. I, she, I surprised her as much as she surprised me. She's small and tense, but I'm between her and the only exit. There's nowhere for her to go. I'm about to throw down with a fucking 12 year old. Who are you? Who are you working for? Move. Her voice is so quiet that I can barely hear her, but I don't get a chance to ask her to repeat herself. Get out of the way, or I'll kill you. I'm face to face with the girl who's dad Vic. She's cornered and dangerous. I have to be careful, but... I have your knife. Did you have another weapon? It's not that easy to kill a person, and I do know how to defend myself. That's a lie. I Meh. don't know how to fucking defend myself. Meh. Maybe I do. Yeah, I mean, I see. I've got like an Assassin's Creed blade because I'm wearing a hoodie right now, and like I got like all these hidden poison daggers in my in my coat right now. It's gonna be so cool when I pull it out, and it's like 
Yeah, I, I know how to do that. You don't sound very confident, do you? The girl the float. Does I call her bluff? Now she's all grumpy. Now she's like, so what? You a cop? You gonna turn me in? You don't look like a cop. I don't know why I'm imagining this punk with like the Riley Freeman voice from the Boondocks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was either like Xanthi Wynn or Riley from the Boondocks, and both of those are very different performances and characters. She still has her guard up. She ta she might take off the moment she has the chance. That's because I'm not a cop. I'm an investigator. Our job is to get answers, not to throw you in jail. Amelia saying fuck the police. As for turning you into the authorities, I haven't decided. Amelia says fuck the police, especially if it's a hot older lady cop. Why not? Because I don't know what the hell's going on. I just got here and like, I have so many questions. What the fuck's up with your mask, kid? I don't have the full picture. Why don't you tell me the truth and then I'll decide. She takes a long time looking at me, considering, cackling. Maybe she's not as impetuous as I thought. If I tell you, can I have your word you'll go easy on me? She's trying to neg negotiate. Even when I have her cornered. I'm not interested in ruining the lives of young people. But you'll have to take my word for it. She hesitates. She nods. Okay. She pulls off the mask uh, over her head. And yet further assets. Yeah, there's there's some actual assets in this round. I'm surprised. Don't don't turn me in. Too small. Okay. About the same age as my sister. Okay. Now that I'm looking at this character, I'm getting full on Ryuko Matoi. She wait. So she's like high school, eighteen or so. Yeah, we're thinking about that. Oh, is that her daughter? That that's, that's where my mind went. As soon as she said same age, I'm like, oh, okay, that's her daughter. I, as soon as we like had to deal with this as a character, I'm not just like, hmm, hmm. All right. Much is still hidden by the hood over her head and her face in her face. Her face in her face. Her hair in her face, but the shape of her nose and eyes and her chin reveal an undeniable resemblance, and the age is right. Hi, Maggie. Oh. Vic was stabbed by her own daughter? Nani? The fuck? It's Maggie, right? What? How? Your mom told me all about you. I could see the resemblance. Oh. I, I didn't mean to hurt her. I just panicked. I panicked and almost killed my mom. Yeah, that's... It's okay. She's okay. I promise. She's just my sister's age and her tears break my heart just the same. I open my arms to offer her a reassuring hug. But Maggie glares at me, sniffs, and wipes her tears on her sleeves. You're not, you're not at the right support level yet. You gotta put in more uh, heart yeah, points. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do more support, yeah. I'm not a kid. I sigh. <sighs> this case has certainly gone pear... Sh what? Pear-shaped. What the fuck does that mean? Gone sideways. Uh. Oh, What? It's veered off course. Got it. That <laughs> makes more sense. All right, let me say it like a quirky goober. This quaint, this case has certainly gone pear-shaped, but I think I understand what happens now. I, I went a little sandy cheek there for a second. You should come back with me to see your mother, and we can talk through it. Ugh. So after everything's okay, I'm going to have to uh, 
scoot you out of the room for like 30 minutes to an hour. We, we adults need to talk. Uh, I think this beats any punishment I ever get for sneaking out at night. Yep. She's gonna kill me. Yeah. And the prom's tomorrow. The prom's tomorrow. I wish I could reassure you on how she'll respond, but it's hard to say. I don't know if she's had a suspicion that you were involved. But the most important thing to any parent is making sure their kid is safe. I think she'll just be happy to see you. Maggie sniffs and, rub and rubs her tears on her sleeves again. Thanks. You're okay. I smile at her. The hardest part of my job is done. And the confrontation that Maggie has to face will be difficult for her and for Vicky. I probably don't need to make this child insufferable, but it's it's the voice I've landed on, so I'm sticking with it. I, I respect that. <laughs> okay. She's taking on the challenge bravely because she knows it's right, even though it's hard. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of you for knowing how to handle a knife. Thanks! Really? Let's get going. No, oh, we're back up. I entered the train car I shared with Vicky earlier, alone at first. She's lying down and resting, but she opens her eyes to look at me when I come in. Our sleuth has returned from the scene of the crime. Did you, you find know. anything? <coughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Y you could say that. I found your attacker, but this may come as a shock for you, so do not get up. You will tear open your wound. I gesture Maggie into the room. Oh, that fucking face. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I feel like Maggie's a little bit too close. It's like she's taking shelter beside me. Man, they don't they have very different art styles. Yeah. Well you have multiple artists on this job. You 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 do the art direction, but there's only uh so much they can get get so much. Like like the way to describe it, it's like how do I describe this? It's like it's like Vicky kinda looks like she's in like a uh, indie lesbian comic that would have been released like in like the 2000s and Maggie looks like she is the protagonist of a Korean action webtoon yeah I can kind of see it she, she's looking a little more digital art than physical media physical comics yeah that that's that's a good way to put it I can't blame her, so I try to be the coolest adult that I can be. Tubular. M Maggie? Yeah. It's me, Mom. Vic is quiet for a while. I can only imagine the things going through her mind. We, we should break the silence. Yeah. Okay. Before you jump your conclusions on your own, I want you to take a deep breath. Because you only got stabbed through your stomach, not through your lungs. You've got your functioning lungs. I'm a trained amateur therapist. I took a course online. I got the printout certificate right here. I have had, I have done all those... I have done conflict resolution for all my friends on discord i know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing think about how you would respond if this wasn't maggie beat their ass what the hell amelia earlier you told me that girl who stabbed you was probably scared and in over her head right this is where we are now whether this girl's your daughter or not do you understand Sometimes a sense of love and responsibility towards someone might lead you to say the wrong thing. I know the feeling too. I watch Vicky as she looks at her daughter and considers what I said. Okay, let's go over events step by step. No, wait, there's something I have to know first. Maggie, you're here on a job, aren't you? Uh, let's not do that. 
I'm just getting very excited. Yeah. Was it to kill me? No. They're both quiet for a while. Maybe I can shed. shed light on it, yeah. I have the weapon here. It is just a small pocket knife. It's not really meant to cause damage, which uh, tells me. I mean, both of these are true. I, I think this is where we're trying to lead the conversation, I though. Think we're try yeah, I think that's exactly what we're trying to lead. Because it's like, yeah, she doesn't know what she's doing. It's like, so you were trying to fucking kill me, but you're just shit? It's like, no, she wasn't trying to harm you. But kind of fucked up. I think this was just something Maggie had in her pocket when she encountered you. If it was hit, the client would have supplied her for that. That's true. But what we can intu intuit from the incident at the drop point is that she was stabbing... You as an accident. Sorry I stabbed you on accident. Happens to the best of us. So the real assignment for you, Maggie, had to do with the stolen object. Am I correct? Maggie nods her head, probably too ashamed of what happened to speak up. Will you tell us about what you were hired to do? I, I was supposed to intercept the drop point. I knew that two people were meeting up to exchange something valuable, and that was hot. That was hot. Er, stolen. So I got so I got it and delivered it to a different connection myself already. Somebody was jacking the trade. Yeah. Who's your employer? I, I don't know. Some guy. We just talked on the phone. Given the look on yeah. Vicky's face, I suspect she's catching up. Maggie digs around in her pockets. I thought I had a card. I was supposed to call him. Well, what is... Was it this card? Is this your card? I show Maggie the business card and, that I found on the floor in the hall. Vicky... Vic, Vicky stares at, at it, too. Yeah, this guy. Why would a guy who sells houses care about stealing stuff? Honey, he's a stockbroker. That means he sells shares, like, like in Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, so this is a modern time, if we we're, we know what Wolf of Wall Street is. Which, by sure. the way, fuck fuck Jordan Belfort for realsy. The dude's into NFTs now, which is shockingly less surprising than it sounds. That that's practically expected. Yeah. Love that deregulation. If the mark is the key to a corporation, their assets, or their plans, their value could drop. You could stand to gain a lot of money. Oh, okay. So is this just the communist struggle route? Is that what this is? This is the the uh, people should not be turning on each other. They should be uh, fighting their oppressors to get. They should unite and fight their oppressors. Okay, so we're going full-on communist Disco Elysium today. Got it. Vic, you must know what this suggests. Vic nods. He played me. Is it really possible that he doesn't know you? In my experience, this kind of stuff is the work of somebody with a grudge. No, it is possible that he has no idea about e either of us. Or even that we're related. I bet this was all just a ploy so he didn't have to pay me once the job was done. Instead, he could just pay Ma Maggie, who is a rookie and much more affordable hire. There you go. What should we call it? Worst person who you know turns out to be even more of a scumbag. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of the whole Jordan thing in itself, yeah. We both look at Maggie, who's considering our conversation in silence. I do have a question for you, Megs. Yeah? This may sound, maybe this is stupid, but did you know that it was me that you were going after? Did you do this to me to take something out on me? This brings Maggie back, back to... Back into her guilty silence. Mm -hmm. It must be more complicated than a simple yes or no answer for her to hesitate like that. May have acted out. Didn't know about Vic's involvement. Um, 
This is a, I'm actually not sure. I'm I'm leaning towards the top answer. Uh, you think acted out? I'm thinking if she's hesitating, then she may have known. I think it's possible it could have been acting out. Yeah. Uh, if it, if it's the second one, then she realized what she did after the fact, or realized during and still went through with it. Maybe. Yeah. I'm I'm going to go with the top one. Okay. Well, she is a teenager. Aren't they just the worst? They they say you're you're not my real mom, and then they stab you, and then steal your clients. A lot of stupid things m might seem like a good idea when you want to prove yourself. Whether or not it was their hesitation, look at her now. <laughs> her intention, even. She knew she made a mistake. Vicky looks at Maggie for a long while. Maggie wipes her nose on her sleeve. I didn't mean to hurt you, Mom. I, I made a mistake. After I ran and I hurt you, I thought, what should I do? What would I do if I'd killed my mom? Maggie blubbers into the sleeves of her hoodie, her words becoming unintelligible. Vic scoops her daughter into her arms to console her, rubbing Maggie's back and murmuring sweet nothings. With a pang, I miss my sister desperately. Aww. For now, at least I think things will be okay with these two. I just have to know what inspired you to get involved in my line of work. You know I wanted to keep you, your nose clean. I wanted you to go to school and have a good life. I did the dirty thing so you could, so I can make a, your life better than mine. So why are you doing this? Why why would you choose it? I don't know, Mom. I didn't really know. I don't really know what I want to do. I thought I could I just. I thought I'd get into espionage. You know, as a joke. It's just joke. a pr it's just a prank, bro. I thought, I thought I'd take this silent revolvers and cap a guy as a prank, bro. I, I thought I could do this job and show you that I could pull it off. Then maybe you'd let me be involved in this part of the family business, too. It pauses. Thoughtful. Well, are you biting no, your... Don't more? consider it. I'll think about it. Don't consider it. Are you fucking for real? I've thought about it. The answer is no. You're going to okay. college. You you sure did swindle me out, out of my paycheck. Don't consider it. Hell yeah, I did. Oh my god. I think we should talk to this guy about how you're, you were underpaid for the dangerous job you just pulled off. I don't object to my daughter getting into this dangerous line of work, but I object to miners being underpaid and undervalued for their work. Pay your so, artists so better. So artists so out you... there, raise your commission prices. You're worth it. Okay. That's where I'm going with this. Yeah, sure. I, I can I can agree with that, sure. There was blood involved in everything, even if it wasn't your blood. Do you mean fine retribution? That's exactly what I mean. We're gonna kill this guy. Mm. As a family, family, family. A family picture. Hmm. I wonder what would happen to his day job if people found out what he's doing on the side. Vic looks at me, almost like she's just remembered I was there. I smile back at her. I hey, see that cute narc I want to bang? Yeah, we could use her. Well, let's not commit to any plan until we get somewhere more private. Train walls have ears, you know. Oh, right. We should not talk about our evil schemes. Yeah. Well, well Gumshoe. Well, Gumshoe, you've solved this case and found our crimes. Are you going to turn us in? Well, the stolen item is long gone now, so what would I even bring you in for? Stealing my heart. I I, I cringe a little bit saying that. Look, you may be look, 
you may be evil, but you're also heart, so you're like morally ambiguous at best. Morally gray. It's only morally gray unless they're hot. I can't even prove anything happened at all unless you want to press charges yourself, Vicky. Elka worry crosses Maggie's face for just a moment, but Vic laughs it off. <laughs> you mean this? What the fuck? <laughs> just an embarrassing incident involving a vending machine and, and a stuck package of gum. What? The, the You're wound. Have, to have quite the scar to write home about. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Chicks dig scars. Hey, babe, how did you get this one? And this one? Vending machine. Oh my god. And now she's like, oh no. I, I need to have a tea. You can find me in the dining car when you're done here. Oh, I love that. That implies to me Maggie knows that. Oh, God. Here we go again. Oh, God. My mom's gonna bang some chick. Ugh. Ew. Ew, gross. Maggie looks like she wants to disappear in a huff, but she stops at the door to look back at me. Thanks. And she's gone. She's a good kid. Yeah. I did the best I could. I always believe that. Vic heaves a heavy sigh and scratches at the back of her neck. I always try to keep her away from the illegal stuff, but there's only so much you can shelter from a kid. Eventually she catches on after Uncle Jay goes to prison for a few years, and after she watches you stitch up gashes in the bathroom. Oh, so you knew this was coming. No, I did not know this was coming. I just, my eyes widened because I right. too have an Uncle Jay. So that kind of caught me off guard for a second. I, I was saying, how did you, how did uh, Vicky not realize that this was going to happen if, oh yeah, uh, if her kid actually does kind of know about the illegal lifestyle? When a kid sees it, all that, yeah. when a kid sees all that, and sees the high after, and sees the high after a job all done, I guess it can look like something romantic and cool. I mean, not that it isn't those things. Maybe I could have been more honest to give her the whole picture so she could see what kind of danger she'd be in. I just didn't want her to see what kinds of... I just didn't want her to see what kind of risks I took for this line of work. I didn't want her to be scared that I might not come home. I, want, I wanted to be scared about that enough for both of us. I didn't want to, her to worry about anything. If I could keep everything going with just money from the shop, I would have done it. I just couldn't. Vic meets my eyes. What about you? Do you respect me less? Do you think I'm rash? Do you think I'm irresponsible? I think you did the best you could. I think you're doing the best you can, even now. Vic smiles Vic at me. smiles at me. It has a little something extra in it that it did before, although it's hard to tell what it is. Thanks. Seriously, thank you for everything. Have you ever thought about uh, crossing the floor, getting up to some trouble with a renegade on a motorcycle? I can't say I've entertained that particular fantasy, but it does sound pretty tempting. Vic takes her time to, and stands up, one arm on the wound on her stomach. Hey, how are you feeling? Vic shushes me as she climbs to her feet. She walks across the cabin and leans against the wall next to me. Oh, is she gonna give you the Kabedon? She leans in just a bit too close, sending my heart hammering into my chest. I can hear her breath quickening. Yo, bike, yep, we, yep. It's that, uh, you know, the little cheek hold. This is usually very sexy, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. But under these circumstances, it's just excruciatingly painful. I want you to know that I am extremely turned on right now, but I am also in so much fucking pain. I'm going to bang you, so please just ignore the extra screaming, okay? Hmm. I think I'm beginning to see through your charms, Miss Rook. 
I'll have to make up on my lost reputation later. Although I could use a new partner in crime, in which case maybe it can be sooner. In spite of her words, Vic Le Vicky leans shadow cast over me as long. She smells lightly of tobacco and the countryside. I let myself lean into her, carrying my own weight, but resting my body against hers. I wish I could, but I'm on vacation. If I pick up a new job while I'm away, my sister will kill me. Big laughs. Fair enough. But here, just in case. A, a little something extra for you. Vic shows me a business card of her own for her motorcycle shop and tucks it into my jacket pocket. Very smooth. You can call me if you ever decide for a career change. Or if you want to get a drink. I could feel the heat of a blush on my face. And I was looking so cool until now. No, you weren't. Honey, no. Yeah, that, that sounds great. When Vicky leans in closer, I meet her halfway. With any luck, the rest of my vacation will be just as rewarding. And cut to black. And we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go to Maggie later and be like, doing your mom, doing, doing, doing your mom. I'm the mom now. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the mother. Hey, she's in there now. She totally is. Oh, they added her now that we've done all of them. That's cool. Now, now that she's potentially an option. Oh, okay. nice. I like that. I, I was waiting for a instance to insert I know. Just as a Han Solo joke. But you did come. But, yeah, I didn't, I didn't find it, I don't think. Uh, uh, I, I, resp I appreciate that you tried, though. I was like, okay, I gotta put this away for later. Hold on to this joke. Did not come. Oh, well. So, uh, I think in quick, quick, quick break. Bathroom break, and then we uh, wrap this. We wrap this up. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go take a pee break. See, see, see you guys soon.
we're back. We've recycled fluids. We have indeed recycled the fluids. D done our oil change. That we have. Speaking of which, I love the little doodle she did for Vicky and how she kind of looks like... She looks like Brock. A little bit. You know, after he's been punched in the gut by uh, Toxic Hurt. She looks like Bro uh, Brock with a little bit of, like, oak in there, too. And, also, and of course, the blood the, fear. What is... Is that the little Maggie with a knife? Yeah. Yeah, you know, she was wearing the bird mask, so she gets represented by a tiny bird. A tiny, unthreatening bird. Oh, that is a bird. I thought it was like a fucking onion or something. I was like, why is that an onion? I was like, oh, that yeah. is Maggie, though. That's yeah, it's kind of got the beak going and the little feathers on the head. It might be a low resolution on your end. Maybe, yeah. Uh, but but it is exactly that meme of just like that spherical duck with the... Spherical plush duck with the uh, knife. They knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. So now we have a suspiciously blank space here and a suspiciously uh, new uh, new uh, guest here, new character here. Hey, we got to. Yep, we're going for Amelia again. Amelia's gonna get her harem, like it or not. Harem end. Harem end. If I can harem. spell Amelia. If I can spell Amelia correctly. You got this. So. Like I think reading. most of this is going to be the same. I think so, too. It's just going to be your first line, miss. Custom line. Yeah. If you would, of course. I, I, I think it might be the same up until the choice. I think yeah. da, 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 da. Salt and pepper butch. And next. Oh, that's me. At least I don't have a log of baggage. Here you go. Success. You like your job? I'm a PI. Are you listening? Gumshoe. Alright, all right, let's uh, do all this correctly. Click on my clothes, because we're going to take them off later. Nice hat. You know, you know it's like those uh, fold-out uh, Barbie doll things that you cut out of a magazine, so you just mm -hmm. untap them? Yeah. Why, thank you. I had to modify it to touch myself. Uh, touch myself. Uh, uniform. uniform. Make the fall colors look good. Make him look fine. I want to. I want to. I want you to crush my head in your thighs, we're, Jesus. We're so good at this after we've done it three times. Yeah. I keep pulling my I'm leg. Pulling my leg, and I want to get my head in between yours. I mean, what? No assigned seats. I mean, what does that mean? It means you have to choose to share a car. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm sure that all make for. Charming company. What if I help you with your job the entire time? I I could uh, process a hundred passengers for you. Builds out a trio of tickets for me. Can we but reject? oh, that is new. Now but what we if? Select her happily. Oh, I noticed a fourth ticket hidden among the others. Ooh, 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 what's this? Ooh, ooh what's this? The conductor's the eyes, eyes spark sparkle in a way that seems both charming and slightly dangerous. Hmm. That is a very special ticket. It lets you ride with me. Uh, take a ride with me. Da, 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 da. I'm a little taken aback by, by this. I didn't think riding with the conductor would be an option. It wasn't. However, this idea has its appeal. My car isn't as fancy as the others, since I'm just an employee and all. But we've got a full train today, so someone has to ride with me. New assets, let's go. And I certainly wouldn't mind the change a chance to get to know you better. I blush and stammer out some sort of agreement. <laughs> okay. Yep. Girl hot. Girl hot brain no biggie. Great. Just stand there uh, to the side for a moment, sweetheart. I'll take all these other guests, great folks, tickets, and then I can show you to our car. Ooh. Uh, I stand and wait, shuffling my feet awkwardly. 
lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But you... It's impressive watching her work, the way she easily charms all of the guests. <laughs> I also want to take notes on her technique. No comment. When she's finished, she turns back to me with a smile and invites me onto the train with a sweeping gesture. Your chariot awaits. Shall we? We shall. Oh my god, it's it's just more messy. Yeah. They, they've just crazy. added they've just added more to it. They've just added more to it, yeah. She wasn't kidding when she said her car was less fancy than the others. How is this less fancy? What kind of fucking train is this? It certainly seems a bit bare bones compared to the opulence of the ra right. It was made in two months. I, I'm not going to shit on them too much. <laughs> certainly seems a bit bare bones compared to the opulence of the rest of the train, but I don't really mind. I sit, and the conductor takes the seat opposite me, settling in with casual ease. Well, I have a bit of time uh, before I have to do my first walkthrough of the hallways. Why don't we get to know each other? Uh, where are you from? I, I don't, I don't think Amelia would immediately go to. Are you dating anyone? Where, where are, are you from? from? Where are you from? I'm from down south originally. Although now I live wherever the train takes me. My family's kind of scattered around the country now. I have an older brother who owns a restaurant in the city. My older sister lives up in the country with her husband and three kids. Why is this voice so much easier for me to just slip into automatically? And my younger brother died in a motorcycle accident a few years ago. Uh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I should say, oh no, you're killing the boner. <laughs> he shrugs his shoulders and looks, looking a little sad and wistful. Uh, that, that reaction. Shit, Shit ha happens. That Shit happens. Life. That's life. That's great. Life is like a box of chocolates. Uh, why did you begin? Okay, don't ask her if you're dating everybody after she told you about her dead brother. At least ask something else. So you're saying there's a hole in your life that needs to be filled. <laughs> I, can, I can be your baby brother. What? What? Uh... Well, you, why did you become a conductor? My father was a train engineer. I would go on trips with him sometimes, and I fell in love with the life on the rails. So becoming a conductor seemed like a natural fit. I knew as soon as I was young, my biggest dream was to get railed. And then Amelia's like, oh yeah, you were. What? What? I didn't say nothing. Um, yeah, you single? So, so it's that scene from uh, Oh Maidens, but a very different reaction. Still formative, hey, still formative experience, but. <laughs> oh, right. No, that's what happens before she runs outside. Yeah, she, she sees. So Conductor yeah. here would have stuck around and be like, hey, scoot over. Let me watch. Oh, God. What the fuck is... <laughs> this is... Oh, please click the option. I'm losing it. <laughs> Are you dating anyone? She laughs at this. A pleasant, friendly laugh that somehow makes me feel less embarrassed at being so forward. Not currently, no. Although I do have a daughter. She's 10. She's attending boarding school while I'm traveling around. I'm not exactly looking for a relationship, but I'm always open to new opportunities. She winks. I definitely lucked out getting to ride with her. I've definitely ruined this by adding this voice, but I'm not going back now. <laughs> Bitch. Something about her manner makes me feel at ease, and she's fun to talk to. I get the sense that I'm really going to be getting a proper, relaxing vacation. Oh, you're so tense. Let me help you. What about you, Miss Private Investigator? I'm getting Rachel Robinson vibes. That's what I'm getting right now. The Ur Milf? What about me? What about me? How'd you end up becoming Miss Private Investigator? I, I think uh, I think we've uh, realized we've established that established it's the thrill, the thrill of the chase. 
There's something infinitely exciting in seeing the clues come together. I love it when a plan comes together. I love watching things come together. Together. Don't mind me. Don't mind the silence. I wasn't trying to be sensual. I had something in my fucking throat. Don't worry about it. I don't believe don't ask you. Questions. Moving on. And seeing the truth that others don't want you to see. Mm -hmm. She likes that. She grins, nodding along as I speak. Well said. And how good are you at vacations? What do you mean? Are you are you able to truly relax, take your turn off your brain, step out of mystery mode? <laughs> no, it's terrible. It has impacted all of my relationships because I have no proper work, home life balance. Or is it more of a busman's holiday situation? Since we're getting, we're going to be spending some time together. I just want to know one, who I'm dealing with, the woman or the investigator. Honey, you can have both. I'll crack you open like a box of chocolates. All oh, right, you you can take some of this now. Right? I open up my mouth to respond, but before I can, she stands up. I have to go for, do my first walkthrough. You can just think on that question. She winks again. And we can discuss it further when I get back. I hate to see you leave, but I love watching you go. I do love a woman in uniform. I spent some time watching the Green Hills pass by the window. This is why I took this vacation, to sit and relax while the idyllic countryside passes me by. But my mind keeps drifting back to the conductor. A fascinating woman. A striking accent. She seems friendly, or, or at least flirty, but occasionally I, I see something else behind her eyes as well. Could it be hostility? Could it not be ho Southern hospitality? And why was Southern it Southern hostility. Mm. She's yeah, that... take this jar of marmalade and shove it up your fucking neck. And what was with that woman or investigator question? The door to the train slides open, and the conductor steps back in, taking her seat opposite mine. How are you holding up, sweetheart? Everyone else seems to be selling in smoothly. I've been thinking about your question, and I think I'm more... I feel like she's going to be the honest type. She's going to appreciate the honesty. Though she does like us being cute, too. Yeah. Honestly, we've done three full investigations, and we've spent so much of this time being in investigator mode, I think she's going to see through the bullshit. Let's be yeah. honest and say we're investigator. Yeah, we, we've kind of... Every time we meet a new person, we go into... How, how do I break this case open? Yeah. The investigator isn't really something I can turn off. I'm on vacation to relax, sure, but that doesn't mean I'm going to close my eyes to the mysteries around me. For some reason, yep, she, she seemed pleased. That's good to hear. You never know when a mystery might pop up that needs solving. Regardless, being an investigator is more than just oh, a job. Oh. Regardless, being an investigator is more than just a job for me. It's a calling. It's like what you were saying, how your dad was a train engineer, and you felt... She cuts me off looking confused. I don't know what you're talking about. Dad wasn't a train engineer. But you told me earlier... I don't remember telling you nothing. I never knew my parents. I grew up in foster care. Be oh. so or keep pushing. She's trying to get us to piece her together. Uh... Is she knowingly lying to us? I think she's trying to push us, so we push back. Yeah. Some, something's, something's not right not here. Right here. You told me earlier that your father was a train engineer, and that's what inspired you to become a conductor. This was just a few minutes ago. She looks angry. She looks angry, leaning, leaning forward in her seat and pointing an accusatory finger at me. Ooh. I told you no such thing. 
I'm sure you met tons of people in your line of work. You must have me confused with someone else. You're practically a stranger. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop trying to act like you know my life better than I do. What's your deal? I take a deep breath, try to stay calm, and take stock of the situation. I apologize for the confusion. Why don't you tell me about your real family, then? She just did. She's in foster care. Anyways, we're on... The hand has moved over to Gaslight. It, it's been on Girl yeah. Boss for, for a while, but now we're on Gaslight. We're definitely on Gaslight right now. Like I said, I was raised in foster care. Siblings? None. I have a daughter, though. I'm a single mom. So that part was true. Is she 10? 11, although you were impressively close. Must be your deductive skills. I see, I see her playful smile return and I relax a little bit myself, although I'm still not sure what's going on. My daughter says it. My daughter stays with my ex while I travel. Ah, so that's new. She, she stands, stands up again. I have to do another, wa another walkthrough. You know, the game is facts things, they just keep coming. The, the readers demand more and more and more. Jesus. The, the conductor winks. Try not to forget who I am while I'm gone. There's so, got, okay, so... He either, leaves me alone with my recent thoughts. Either she's throwing in lies and truth, or there's like three of her in this car. Hmm. I don't... Okay. Are, are we dealing with like a... Uh, a Cerberus Helltaker situation? Maybe? She leaves me alone with my racing thoughts. Or, and just because it will cause you pain, a Mayumi from Somnium Files. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Do you ever just uh, walk through a door and forget your entire personality? I stare out the window, but I barely see the landscape now. She just told me two completely contradictory life stories, and it's not that I'm surprised to find out that someone's been lying to me. It's more that I can't see the point of the lie here. There's no particular advantage to one story over the other. There's nothing to gain. And that's what- and what's more than that, I'm usually pretty good at detecting lies. Yeah, there's obviously a lie here, but which one is it? But she seemed completely sincere in both cases. And why would someone who, by all accounts, must be a very good liar, make the very basic mistake of contradicting her own story? None of it makes any sense. You see, you have to believe the lie to sell it, right? The conductor re-enters the car, smiling as if nothing has changed, but I feel more wary now. Show me gatekeep. I'm happy to report everything on the train is still going well. How are you doing? At the gatekeep right there. Feeling relaxed? I put on my best smile. If she's not going to act like anything's happening here, then I won't either. I'm having a grand old time. Glad to hear it, darling. I'd like to get to know you better, though, if we're going to be traveling together. Wait, that's her line. Of course. What would you like to know? Did we catch her in a third lie? I, I think that's where we kind of have to go with this. I think we have to try it again. See what, yeah, because we got to test her now. What's your family like? Ah, that's actually a bit of a sensitive subject. But since it's like us to be friends, I'll tell you. You see, I come from wealth. My parents owned a very well-known toothpaste manufacturer. What the fuck is going on? I am a toothpaste heiress, but they always place me at a ve they always place very high expectations on me. I I always had to be I always had to put on a show of being the good girl, the smart girl, the polite girl. They didn't want here want me to just coast by on our money, but they didn't want me to have just any career. Oh no, it had to be something respectable. So I went to medical school, and then one day I just couldn't take it anymore. I dropped out and became a train conductor. My parents don't really talk to me anymore. 
Although they they want me to be they want me to bring my daughter around for the holidays this year, so maybe there's a chance to repair that relationship. I must have a hard time keeping a straight face listening to her story. Now her parents are toothpaste magnets? But she doesn't seem to have any of the same qualms that I do. She looks genuinely sad when talking about her parents. Just how good of a liar is this woman? I can't take it anymore. Being I'm aggressive, not be aggressive now. but I think I've got to be yeah. frank. Let's, uh... My name's not Frank, but I'm gonna be him for a second. Let's be Francine, then. Let's be Francine. Alright, that's the third contradictory story you've told me today. What are you talking about? I haven't told you any other stories. First, your dad was a train conductor. Then you had no parents. Then your parents were toothpaste magnets? You have to be telling me these stories on purpose. Knowing that I'll know you're lying about some or all of them. But why? Why are you doing this? Who are you really? She smiles, and this time the hostility behind the, the smile isn't hidden. It's out in the open. This isn't a friendly smile. This smile is a challenge. You're the investigator. You want to know who I am? Figure it out. Come and catch me if you can, Mr. Holmes. In a no. moment, it's as if the conductor's entire demeanor changes. The sinister undertones I occasionally glimpse behind her friendly smile are now overtones. I have had it up to here with Yuri undertones. Give me the Yuri overtones. Let's be very overtoned. She smirks at me, mockingly. I try to sputter out a question. What or why? Uh, I think we want the why. Why? Why are you doing this? To test my abilities, Sasuke. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Cutting straight to the interesting question. I like it. I'm not going to answer, obviously, but I like it. Fine, then answer me this. How? How what? How did you know that I would be on this train? Or that I would choose your ticket? You're jumping to a lot of conclusions, Gumshoe. How do you know? How do you know that I knew? That I, you know that I knew. That I knew that you didn't know. You're obviously targeting me for... I'm just having fun. Am I? How do you know that this isn't a crime of opportunity? What do you mean? Maybe I just saw that my companion for this trip was an adorable young P.I. and decided to have a bit of fun. This throws me off. Tales of sordid conspiracies have been dancing in my head. And she's been laying a sweat in the interrogation room. But is it possible this was all just some light-hearted teasing? She, okay, she's mm, she's reminding me a lot of like Kokichi Oma from Danganronpa V3 right now, which is a weird comparison I was not expecting for what is basically like a hot milk with thick thighs. What? Is that the one with uh, black hair and two color highlights, or is that from V two? The what? Is that is that the girl with black hair and two colors of highlights, the pink and blue? No, no, no. I'm talking. I'm not even talking about a guy. I'm not even talking about a girl. I'm talking about Kokichi, who is basically V 3s Nagito it Komaida is the best way I can summate him. He's also voiced by Derek Stephen Prince. Okay, that that's going to be my question because we've raided into Ryan McKean's. Ram McKeon's streams while they're playing B3, and one of those investigations is going on at the time, so I think I have yeah, contacts now. Yeah, Kokichi's a trip, that's all I'm going to say. I I don't think backing off's going to get us anywhere. I think no. all we have to do is push forward. 
No, I don't think backing off is a real option. Anyway, so we've had a hydrate redeem, so. Yeah, I, I just took a I just took a couple sips there, so I, I think I'm good. If you're just messing with me for fun, then why won't you drop it? Why push it this far? Because I'm still having fun. I want to see your detective skills in action. Humor me. Oh god, she's reminding me of like... Oh god. Oh no. I'm getting Isaiah Orihara vibes and I don't like that I just made that comparison. Okay, tell me this. If you are... Andrew, I think you have some issues you need to work out. Some influences you, know you need to reconcile with. I hate Isaiah. It's all about Selty. Sure it is. Selty's fucking hot, sure it dude. Is. Next, you'll tell me that you uh, would rather rail uh, God, Kristen Freeman's character. Uh, oh my god, what is his name? She's woe. She's woe. Right. No, 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 no. Doctor looks truly annoyed now. You're really starting to bore me. What? 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 what I? I've already proven to you that I can't be trusted. Do you base all your cases on the testimony of a single unreliable witness, or are you just being lazy on this one? Oh, this this is gonna end with her pegging us, Christ. I don't think... Well, edging us because we haven't been a good girl. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clearly you didn't. Maybe you... Maybe we were wrong about you. We? Yep, it's two people. It's two or three people. Wait a second. Did she say we? Why, why don't you think about that? Why don't you think about what you actually know, and we'll talk more about it when I get back from my walkthrough. There's there's totally multiple of them. That damn kid's back on the escalator again. She leaves the trade car, and I can't stop thinking about that we. Unless she's Venom. Is she Fen... Fem... 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 Venom? She's Fenom? Femdom? The, okay, that checks out. The Phenom? Phenom. There's something going on here that I've yet to uncover. Time to pull myself together and do some real detective work. With the conductor gone, I take a moment to take stock of what I know for sure. I am on a train. Good job! I think, therefore, I am. That woman is the conductor of this train. Okay. Wait. Is she... Hold on. Ish. That first mini game, where we we point out that her uh, uniform is a bit off. Oh my god! I know she took tickets, and that she periodically leaves a card to do a walkthrough. But I don't have any actual employment records or anything. Okay, so I don't know for sure that she's the official official conductor of this train. She's doing that, um, catch me if you can business. Oh god, what do I know? So we start over. No I'm on a train. I'm on a train. Yeah. Damn, that's all I know. Am I on a train? Am I even on a train? That's not much of a starting point. So far, every time she's left to do a walkthrough, she's been gone for at least 10 or 15 minutes. I decided to take full advantage of that time by looking for clues while I have the chance. We're gonna go through her. Are we gonna go through the room? The new stuff, perhaps? There's some bags stored around the conductor's seat. Those are probably hers. Maybe there's something in the here that will point out to her true identity. Ooh, hey. Uh, I'm gonna start with this. Okay. I find a small white card the size of a business card. It has a strange symbol emblazoned on it along with the word. Circle of eyes? Are we doing cult shit now? The card's otherwise blank. Uh, uh vanilla envelope. V -v vanilla folder. Find a pile of files. 
Looking through them, I discovered detailed dossiers on each of the women who got on the train before me. Cassandra Kite, the silver fox who got on the train ahead of me, is apparently the target of a ploy to oust her from her position as a CEO. A ploy being led by her own secretary. Iris Starling, the gorgeous, larger-than-life woman with all the bags, is apparently being blackmailed by her own family. Her own mob-connected family. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Victoria Rook, the charming woman with multiple wallets, is apparently a thief. That one's not much of a surprise. Okay. <laughs> but what is a surprise is that her latest client paid her own daughter to steal from her. Why do you have all this information? Seems everybody on this train is embroiled in some sort of mystery or another. When I get to the bottom of the pile, I realize there's also a file on me. Mm-hmm. My file contains details of some of my biggest cases. Sequel hook. Creepy. Oh. And what? passports. Passports. I find a pile of passports. Each passport has a picture of the conductor, but otherwise the details are all different. Different names, different ages, even different countries. It's very clear now that whatever's going on here is more than a harmless flirtation. Is this conductor a spy for a foreign country? Maybe she's a federal agent? Or some sort of master criminal? What is the circle of eyes thing about? I put everything back exactly where I found it and sit back in my seat, expecting the conductor to return soon. But she doesn't arrive. She's taking longer than usual. Come to think of it, I have no idea what she's actually doing on these walkthroughs of her. Yeah, well, usually it's like tea and biscuits, dear. Yeah, yeah you take the snack cart and you push it down the aisle. That takes a long time. Yeah. After waiting for a few more minutes, I decided to make a bold move. Get out the door. We are. She's breached the simulation. She is breached. Time to find out what she's doing right now. God, it's actually the simulation breaking. I leave the car. I move quietly out into the hallway, and I immediately spot the conductor. She's at the end of the hall, facing away from me, and appears to be talking on a cell phone. Closer. Closer? All right. I won't be able to get... I won't be able to beat the shit out of you if I don't move closer, Dio. I sneak closer trying to keep my footsteps wet. There's nothing in the hallway to hide behind, so I just try to keep close to the wall. Her back is still to me. Oh, she doesn't turn around. Yes, I'm making progress. She seems like a promising candidate. Promising candidate? There's a long pause as she listens to something on the other end of the line. Oh, this training program for like a secret service? She begins to turn and I quickly retreat back down to the hallway before she sees me. Hello, oh, Gumshoe. Gum oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, Gumshoe. Damn. Busted. Damn, 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 damn. Girl, you fine. I turn around sheepishly to find the conductor watching me, grinning. What are you doing out here? I don't think she's gonna care nah. care for being cute right now. Yeah, tailing you. Uh, tailing you. I was following you to see if you were really doing what you claimed to be doing. She laughs. You're not very subtle, are you? But you're finally doing some real investigation. I'm happy to see it. We lock eyes for a long, tense moment face tells me nothing that I didn't already know. Her expression is carefully controlled, showing nothing more than detached amusement. But there's a passion in her dark eyes that draws me in. She reaches up one hand and brushes a stray strand of hair out of my face. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. She leads close to me. Well. I snap out of my reverie, 
feeling suddenly awkward. <laughs> well, wait, 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 well, what? What? Have you figured it out? You look, there's stairs at there's a D. Her eyes cold and amused. Come on, Gumsh. You tell me what it is you think is really going on on this train. I've given you everything you need to put it together. I don't. I'm not sure I. <laughs> Size. Alright, why not try working through the pieces one at a time? Start with whatever you found when you searched my things while I was gone. I decided not to ask how she knew that. Gathering my thoughts, I try to concentrate. We gotta do a brain blast, Jimmy! One piece at a time. The files. Yes, the files. Made for some fun light reading, did they? You have files on all the women who got on the train before me. None of them after. Curious. Almost like they weren't in the budget. Yes, I do. And why do you think I have those files? Well, we pour over files all the time. Because we're actual PIs. I don't think she's the chess. I don't think she's investigating them. I think she's the mastermind. Okay. Sure. You've been pulling the strings from the shadows. You blackmail the diva. You paid the grifter to steal for you. And you're conspiring to dispose the CEO from her company. The conductor laughs. I'm flattered by the way you think by what you think I'm capable of, sweetie. But honestly, criminal mastermind. Oh, damn. Come on, Andrew. Ugh. Why do you think I would keep detailed files of my crimes? And you think I'd take them with me on the train when I was planning to commit the crimes? Okay. You know what? Fair point. Fair point. No, Gramsci, I'm not the mastermind behind these mysteries. I'm investigating them. Think about the other clues. I have a sudden realization. And the passports. Those aren't so you can make some sort of criminal getaway. Those are just for undercover investigations. Yes, exactly. But then, what is your true identity? What do you think it is? Uh, are we having an existential crisis? Are we, or do we pick the uh, option D? I don't think any of those are true. Yeah, it doesn't much, make much sense. I don't know. think it's true, yeah. As, as fun as it would be to be like, yeah, she's definitely from the South. I think it's not important what she is. It doesn't matter. Maybe one of the stories you told me was true. Maybe none of them were. I don't have enough information to go on. Which anime character has this kind of backstory? Or like a cipher backstory? Um, are you okay. thinking of Rob Lucci from Cypher Full 9? No, it's not at all. Uh, um, not like Kadam. Not like Kanami Dante. But, all right, you know. Let's... Yeah, let's move forward. Excellent. It's always good to recognize one's limit, limits as an investigator. Admitting you don't know is always better than blindly guessing. Regardless, your past... Or... Your, regardless, your past doesn't matter. What matters is who you are in the present. And what you want from me. What do you want from me? Ooh. There's also the matter of the mysterious business card I found. With some sort of symbol on it. And the word. You're getting ahead of yourself, Gumshoe. How so? You never finished discussing the files. There's one very important file you haven't mentioned yet. Mine. Or maybe you didn't see it. You're talking about my file? She nods. You're right. That's a tricky one. I don't have any currently active cases. I have not personally evolved with any of the mysteries on the train. 
So what could you possibly gain from investigating me? That's a good question. What would I have to gain from it? Recruit, fellow arrival. A lead on the case. A new recruit. Yeah, she did say new candidate, so... Yeah. This whole thing has been an elaborate test. I heard you talking on the phone. Something about a promising new recruit. Unless that was also a lie! You're part of some secret organization of investigators. This file, and this whole little game, is all part of the vetting process for new members. The conductor smiles wide. He looks very pleased. Thank goodness, I was worried there for a moment. I mean, it wasn't even that hard of a puzzle with how many hints I was dropping. What you got there? I'm proud of you, Gumshoe. Well, come on then, Gumshoe. Now that everything's out in the open, let's sit down and talk about this properly. Close optional, by the way. The conductor, the conductor lounges comfortably on her seat, all of her professional formality gone. Just, yeah. The mode when you take your bra off at the end of a long day. Pretty much exactly that. She waits for me to sit down before launching into her explanation. I work for the Circle of Eyes. Our motto is See the Unseen Truth. We're a secret organization of private investigators, essentially. I can't get into much detail yet, but suffice it to say you'll gain access to all the best cases with all the resources you need to solve them. Interested? Uh, of course! I'm a little embarrassed by my eager outburst and make an effort to seem cool and collected. <laughs> oh, honey. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Who, who would turn down extra <laughs> resources? <laughs> the conductor laughs. There's no mean or, or mysterious edge to her laugh this time. It's just friendly. <laughs> I thought you'd probably I thought you'd probably want to join. So am I in then? No, you flunked the test terribly, jeez. Not quite yet. This was just the preliminary test. There's more to the process. But I passed the preliminary test. Yes, here's your spirit oracle. Now you're going to have to fight in three rounds. <laughs> And then find a rice grain in Texas. Oh, God. Sure, why not? Yes, I, I mean... Cool. You are cool, Amelia. She laughs again. We've got a long train ride to go still. Want to pass the time investigating the other women on the train? Aramid, 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 Aramid. The conductor leans forward to inner seat to, to talk to me. She looks eager. Let me fill you in on what I've discovered during my walkthroughs. Coming forward to listen better. The grifter got betrayed by her daughter, but now they've made up. They're currently playing poker in the dining car. And the CEO? She sh figured it out. Uh... She figured out it was her secretary trying to ice her. I think she's drafting several angry emails as we speak. Ooh. What about the diva? Well, you know from my files that it was her own family blackmailing her. But it seems they've had a change of heart. Just a few minutes ago I heard her on the phone with a brother, maybe? Or a cousin? It all sounded very emotional. But I think she's safe now. So everything worked out then. The conductor smiles and leans back in her seat again. Yes, I'd say everything worked out. For now. She looks at me for a moment, apparently deep in thought. Her eyes are intense, but soft, somehow. You know, I think you're just what we need in the circle of eyes. The conductor gets up and switches seats, sitting down next to me. You're bright, you're clever, you keep your cool. And you see the heart of things. Maybe if you can pass the rest of the tests. She gently takes one of my hands in hers, never taking her eyes off my face. Ooh. 
I just might make you my own personal partner. I blush fiercely, looking into her mischievous smile. I, um, I think I would like that, being your partner. D definitely. She leans over brushing my cheek with her hand, and she kisses me, briefly, but tenderly. I try to catch my breath, my hand resting on her chest, our faces inches apart. And what happens if I don't pass the rest of the test? She laughs and sits back. Oh, don't worry about that. You'll pass. I'll help you cheat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that hydrate. Will one of the great investigators of the Circle of Eyes catch us if we cheat? They haven't caught me yet, or or any of my other shady deals. Now it's my turn to laugh. I take her hand in mine, setting in for the long trip. You'll have to tell me all about those shady deals some days. Oh no, you're not going to catch me out that easily. Pause for a moment. Maybe someday, once we've gotten to know each other a little better, I'll tell you. Maybe I'll even tell you about my real past. Smile. This is going to be a great vacation. I'd love to hear all about it. Oh. And oh, we hit. F oh, day fucking. Day fucking. Let's go back to that uh, journal for a second. Oh. Oh. Woo. Oh, that's a spice. <laughs> that's a spicy meatball. Woo. You, you know what you call this? Playing with gameplay expectations. It's like, oh, she's oh. taking no sir journal. I think it's us. She leaves us in there. Sw they, ch they swerved on us. They did. I I like that. That that you know that was pretty good. That was that was pretty good. I gotta say. Yeah. And that's game. Yeah, we did it. Woo! Oh, uh, that's fun. Yeah, that worth fun. worth keeping in like the back of my head for however many. For like a rainy day and all that. Yeah, rainy day. Again, we have the. Uh, Credits yeah, no, here. That was fun. So yeah, uh, congrats to all the people who worked on this for a Yuri Jam for like two months. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. impressive. It's like we said, it's uh, available on Itch.io. Don't it's pay what you want to get it, and then proceeds go to Puerto Rico and uh, Puerto Rico like emergency support and Planned Parenthood. No shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you did mention that. Yeah, I did mention. Yeah. So, uh, I think we're ready to close out then. Uh, I don't have many final thoughts on that. That's just. Mm hmm. Oh. No, I'm like I'm liking doing these uh collab streams for lack of a better term. Oh, probably. I like how no one has commented on uh, Takumi being, bearing witness this entire time. No, th this was a uh, anecdote I forgot to mention on like uh, my first stream back because, uh, uh, yeah, that I mentioned off air. There. Uh, but that was, um, we drove up with my mom, uh, and did a bunch of moving stuff into this apartment. And then she was like, okay, we're here for, we're staying over for the weekend. Let me just do all of your laundry. 
and I mean all of your laundry. She's seen my she she's commented on my posters. She's seen the VTubers I watch and how they jiggle. I didn't think that. I thought this was just tea, not uh, respect women juice. Ah, okay. I, I don't know what's going on then. So y you were not. So we tested this screen before. Okay. In which you Hi, were testing, testing. One, in two, which you one, were two. not muted, or in which you were not muted and not doubled. And uh, then we, when we went over to this screen, you were apparently doubled. Oh lordy. Okay, testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Hmm. Weird. All right. Uh, I will have to work out the diff. Something's different between those two uh, OBS screens. Weird. Anyways, this is still a ton of fun to do. But I got yeah. to be here and do the things. Yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna take off. Uh, of course, we still. Have the beast. We yep. There we go. Uh, to go on. When, when's the last day of voting for that? Uh, can I still be heard right now, Steph? Can you still yeah. hear me right now? You should be. Okay. Uh, February eighteenth. You get you can rely on that in case I'm not coming through. February eighteenth. Okay. February eighteenth at eleven fifty nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, that got so much time. Yeah, we got like a bud. I'm gonna procrastinate till the last minute. I gotcha. Anyways, yeah, no, I still gotta, I still gotta prepare my own personal awards myself. I see, I saw like a couple of people in a group were like, oh yeah, no, I basically finalized mine. It's like, man, mine, mine, I haven't, I've solidified one, and that's really it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm trying. To, I, th I think I've had a couple uh, jotted down for a while now. I've got some ideas, but I gotta sit on this still. Either way. I, I suppose from this fan boat that I've kind of, my hand's been forced a little bit that I should watch some of this stuff. Oh, get, absolutely. Get Several of those I think are really worthwhile watches for sure, dude. Yeah, of course. Or I could watch Mayu from, uh, which was a sub only show from like 2014. You could also do both at the same time. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Not at exactly the same time, but I can easily like alternate between some other stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, this is the, I'm gonna take off for the night and then uh, go hit the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Masters grind again. Yeah, have fun with that. I think I'm gonna finally do something I've been neglecting, and I think I'm gonna kill this beard. I've been wanting to clean shave it for a bit, but I think I'm gonna take it off, and then I'm gonna go get a nice haircut this week. Mm -hmm. That's reasonable. I haven't seen my chin in years. I respect that, but mine's getting a little too long, and I'm hitting the point where it's like the sideburns kind of look like mud and chops. I know Steph's gonna be very sad oh, about the the facial hair, but it's like it grows back fast. Like by the time <laughs> I do my final eye the Somnium file stream, I'm probably still gonna at least have like a decent five o'clock shadow. I'm very sad. I I've also got this going on. Uh, because well, was it when I was ready for a haircut? That's when they we went back into lockdown, so I just stuck with it this whole time. Ah, I gotcha. So, I just realized my cat has been sleeping on our couch for like three hours and has been a very good boy the whole time we've been doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to wake him up and annoy him, otherwise, he's gonna do 1 a.m. zoomies. So, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go gonna, do that. He's going to poop and then be smelly and zoomy. It, that is exactly what's gonna happen. Okay. All right. And on but that yeah, note, and on that note, <laughs> that's as good a note as any. All right. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night, everybody. Otaku on. <laughs>